you have been prescribed a beta blocker, and you likely have some questions. This educational video will help you understand what beta blockers are, what they do, why you've been started on one, and how a beta blocker will help you. We will also look at how this therapy is monitored. Since side effects are often of concern, you will learn how to recognize and deal with adverse effects should they occur. Also, you will learn if other medications or supplements can affect your beta blocker. Finally, you will learn how and when to take your beta blocker and what to do if you miss a dose. Let's get started. Some of the more common agents in this drug class are shown here. You may notice that if your medication ends with LOL, then you are taking a beta blocker. These are the common or generic names for beta blockers. You may also know your medication by its brand name, shown here in brackets. There are different types of beta blockers, which makes them useful for a wide variety of conditions. These include to prevent migraines, to treat a sensual tremor, and they can even be used as eye drops for treating glaucoma. Our focus will be on the beta blockers that mainly affect the heart. These drugs will slow the heart rate, lower blood pressure, and decrease the strength of heart contractions. Beta blockers block the effects of adrenaline on the body. Adrenaline is a chemical produced by your body and released in times of increased stress or with sudden vigorous activity. Adrenaline has many uses in the body. These include to increase the heart rate and squeezing strength of the heart, which delivers more blood to the muscles. It will also open the airways of the lungs, which increases oxygen levels in the blood. If you are dependent upon Fair Pharmacare for income-based drug coverage, you will find that the costs of most beta blockers will be fully covered. However, coverage for the drug Carvedilol requires your prescriber or pharmacist to submit a form to Pharmacare to get coverage. Speak to your prescriber, pharmacist, or social worker if you have concerns about medication costs. You may be taking a beta blocker for one or more of the following heart-related reasons. Angina, after a heart attack, for heart failure, for high blood pressure, or for a regular heart rhythm. Angina is a type of chest discomfort usually caused when the blood vessels around the heart narrow. This reduces the flow of blood and oxygen to the heart muscle. Beta blockers will cause the heart to work less hard. Doing less work means the heart needs less oxygen. This may lessen the frequency and severity of chest pain. Beta blockers can help the heart to recover after an injury, such as a heart attack. Beta blockers can help prevent the heart from straining, which can protect your heart and allow it to get stronger. They are one of several medications that have been proven to help reduce the risk of having another heart attack. If your heart fails to pump enough blood to meet the body's needs, this is called heart failure. Since blood carries oxygen and other nutrients out to the body, heart failure may leave you feeling tired or weak. In certain types of heart failure, the body will release more adrenaline to get the heart to do more work. While this sounds like a good idea, extra adrenaline can cause more problems over time. Because beta blockers block adrenaline, the heart is able to slow down and the stress on the heart is reduced, thereby improving symptoms. Note that beta blockers can take months to see the maximum benefits for helping heart failure. Although not normally used itself to lower blood pressure, a beta blocker may be added to other drug therapy to help control high blood pressure. Beta blockers can lower blood pressure because they decrease the rate and force at which the heart pumps blood. However, they are probably most useful for people with high blood pressure 
who also have angina or heart failure or who have had a heart attack. Note that beta blockers can still be used even if your blood pressure is normal. Some beta blockers are used for an irregular rhythm, also called arrhythmia. For example, atrial fibrillation is a common arrhythmia that often increases the heart rate. Beta blockers slow the heart rate, which can reduce unpleasant symptoms like palpitations and lightheadedness, as well as prevent long-term complications. Be patient as some people feel slightly worse or more tired than usual in the first couple weeks after starting a beta blocker or after a dose increase. To minimize risk for side effects, your care provider will often start you on a low dose and then gradually increase the dose over time. It is important to know that when taken regularly, its protective role can help prevent further hospital admissions and help you live longer with fewer symptoms. Here are some guidelines on how to take your medication. Even if you feel well, take your beta blocker exactly as prescribed by your primary care provider. Your primary care provider could be your family doctor, nurse practitioner, a walk-in clinic physician, or other prescriber. Never abruptly stop a beta blocker on your own as this could severely worsen your heart condition. If it is necessary to stop or reduce your medication dose at some point, Make sure you follow your care provider's instructions exactly to avoid problems. If you miss a dose, never take a double dose to catch up. If it is getting close to your next normal dose time, then just skip the missed dose and resume your regular schedule. Inform your care provider if you are planning for pregnancy or to breastfeed. Notify your care provider immediately if you become pregnant while taking a beta blocker. Most beta blockers can be taken with or without food. Labetalol and propranolol are often taken with meals or snacks as food improves their absorption. Carvedilol should also be taken with food if possible to minimize dizziness upon standing. When starting or changing the dose of a beta blocker, blood pressure and heart rate should be monitored more closely. Sometimes you may be asked to keep a written record of your blood pressure and heart rate results. You may consider purchasing a home blood pressure monitor or using the automated machine at your community pharmacy. Sometimes beta blockers can slow the heart rate too much. This is called bradycardia. You can help by letting your care provider know if you notice a heart rate less than 50 to 60 beats per minute, especially if you feel dizzy or short of breath. For diabetics, some signs that let you know your blood sugars are too low, such as shakiness or anxiety, may be less obvious or masked by beta blockers. With certain diabetic medications, you may be asked to check your blood sugars more frequently when a beta blocker is started. Side effects could occur in people taking beta blockers, although many people will not experience any adverse reactions. More common side effects include a feeling of fatigue. This can be due to the reduced work of your heart. It may take a couple of weeks for your body to become accustomed to the new medication. Dizziness or lightheadedness. This is mostly seen when you change position too quickly so take your time when you go from lying or sitting to standing. Now this is not an unexpected problem, and if it only lasts a few seconds, it does not normally require treatment. However, if the dizziness persists or you find it quite bothersome, speak to your pharmacist or healthcare provider. Also, be careful with alcohol as it can worsen dizziness. Rapid increases in weight are often due to the body retaining extra water. This extra fluid may be due to a worsening of a health condition, such as heart failure, but it might also be associated 
with taking a beta blocker. Signs that you have extra water in the body can include puffy or swollen feet or ankles, and labored or difficult breathing, especially when you try to lie flat. Another type of difficult breathing can happen in people with chronic lung disease, where beta blockers may cause shortness of breath to happen more easily. If you have asthma, bronchitis, or emphysema, then make sure your care provider is aware of your lung condition before starting this medication. Some other possible adverse effects, which are uncommon and are generally not serious, include vivid dreams or nightmares, a feeling of depressed mood, or decreased sexual ability. Although bothersome, it is important not to stop your beta blocker by yourself. These adverse reactions are reversible, so contact your care provider to see if your therapy needs adjusting. Finally, there are a few potential side effects that you can often deal with yourself if they occur. These include cold hands and feet, beta blockers can cause reduced blood flow to the limbs. You may need to wear thicker socks and gloves during the winter months. Dry eyes. This may be bothersome in people who wear contact lenses. Ask your community pharmacist about lubricating eye drop options. Remember to review with your pharmacist or care provider before starting any non-prescription drugs, herbal, vitamin, or natural health products. Some of these medications may affect how well your beta blocker works or increase risks for side effects. In summary, beta blockers can have many uses, including reducing the work of the heart, slowing the heart rate, lowering blood pressure, improving chest discomfort from angina, limiting the progression of heart failure, and they may also help prevent a future heart attack. Beta blockers might make you feel dizzy or lightheaded for the first couple of weeks, but this often improves over time. So be careful when changing position, such as from sitting to standing. Notify your care provider if your dizziness persists or does not improve. You should not stop this medication on your own, as this could worsen your heart condition. If you currently have low blood pressure, be careful with activities that can lower your blood pressure even further, such as drinking alcohol or using a sauna or hot tub. Be patient after starting your beta blocker. For conditions like heart failure, it can take several weeks and sometimes months before you notice significant improvements in your symptoms.